Welcome! You would like to remove observations or variables or a combination of both from an R data frame. As with a lot of things in R, there is more than one approach which can be taken to this issue and in this video we will adopt one such option. The code will take the following format. We will create our new data frame by feeding in our existing data frame and then adjusting the observations or adjusting the variables. If you only want to adjust observations and still bring in all the previous variables, then we add code to adjust the observations per our requirements. And then to bring in all the previous variables, we just do a comma, then add no further code. The same applies to variables. If we want to bring in all the previous observations, but adjust which variables we bring in, then we put nothing before the comma to indicate that all observations should be brought in, then we put our code to adjust the variables. We can adjust both the observations and the variables, in which case there is code both before and after the comma. Here are a few examples. In a previous video relating to merging data sets in R, I created this data frame which I have renamed BHC1. BHC1 contains 7,951 observations and 32 variables. For the examples in this video, I will create a new data frame each time so that you can see the output of the code, but equally I could have effectively overridden my existing data frame. To begin with, I will adjust the number of observations in the data frame. And if you have a look at our existing data frame, BHC1, you can see that down the side here we have our observation numbers. And in the first example, we will keep the first 1000 observations. So back in my R script, I set up a new data frame, which I will call BHC2. And into that, I feed my existing data frame, BHC1. I do opening square brackets. I only want to keep the first 1000 rows. So I create a list, C, then I do an opening bracket, and then I do one colon a thousand to indicate that I want to keep all the positions from one to a thousand. Outside my bracket, I put a comma, then I don't put any more code because I want to bring in all the columns. And if I run that, you will see that BHC2 now exists and it only has 1000 observations and 32 variables. Perhaps I would have preferred to remove the first 1000 observations rather than keep them and that's very easy to do. All I need to do is copy my existing code. This time I'm going to call my data frame BHC3. I still want to feed in BHC1, my original data frame, and then in front of the C, all I need to do is put in a minus. Now, if I run the code, you will see that BHC3 has 6,951 observations compared to the original of 7,951 observations. So we have removed the first 1,000 observations. We can do similar manipulations with regards to the variables in R. If we go back to our BHC1 data frame to have a look at it for a second, I would like to create a new data frame which holds only seven variables. I would like to keep the first variable, ca.y, which is at position one. I would like to keep hospital, which is at position two, financial year, which is at position three, then I would like to ignore position four and come to number five, which is outcome. I would like to keep keep SMR two o births at six, location name at seven. Then I don't want anything further until I get to number 21, which is CA name. Let's go back to our R script. I will set up a new data frame again, call it BHC4. Again, I will feed in my original data set, BHC1. 
open the square brackets. This time I want to keep all the observations, so I put a comma and then I put in which variables I would like to keep. So again, we're creating a list. So C, open brackets, I want to keep from one to three, comma. Then I would like to keep from five to seven, and then comma. And then I would like to number 21. If I now run my code, you can see that BHC4 appears. We've still got 7,951 observations, but we only have seven variables in line with the expectations. And we can click on BHC4 and we can see the output. When I created BHC4, I could have altered the order in which the variables are shown in the data frame. Perhaps, for example, I would have liked financial year to be at position one rather than ca.y being at position one. And that's very easy to do. If we go back to our R script, I will set up a new data frame, bhc5, and into that I will feed bhc1, open square brackets again. Again, I want to bring in all observations, so I put a comma, space, c, open my brackets, and this time I'm going to change the order in which the variables come in. And the order I would like is 3, 1, 21, 2, 7, 5, 6. And now if I run this, you can see that we now have BHC5 with 7,951 observations and seven variables. And if we click on the data frame, you can see that the variables are shown in the requested order. If I go back to my R script, perhaps I now want a data frame in which both the observations and the variables are altered. So I will set up BHC6 and feed in BHC1, open square brackets. This time I want to keep the top 1000 rows. So C bracket one colon to a thousand, come outside my bracket, put a comma, and I am going to bring them in in the row which I used for BHC5. So I'm just going to highlight that, control C to copy, paste it in. And now if I run my code, we have BHC6, we only have a thousand observations and we have seven variables. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.